I'm here to speak on behalf of our younger children and their academics. This book, It Feels Good to Be Yourself, which, is an, which has an oxymoronic title based on its content, can be found in 26 elementary schools. It is geared towards K-2, and as Macmillan Publisher says, it basically geared, is geared toward ages four through eight. It introduces four different characters with different gender identities. It makes it seem as if gender is an imaginary concept that can be changed on a whim. When the truth is, gender is factual. You're either a boy or a girl. And gender identity, what you see yourself as, that's imaginary. Well, let me read you a couple of things. First character is Ruthie. She's a transgender girl. That means when she was born, everyone thought she was a boy until she grew a little older, old enough to tell everyone that she's actually a girl. Then there's her brother, Xavier. Xavier is a cisgender boy. Which four through eight year old knows what cisgender means? Can they spell cisgender? That means when Xavier was born, everyone thought he was a boy. And as he grew older, it turned out everyone was right. He was a boy. Then there's Alex, the friend. Alex is both a boy and a girl. Then there's JJ. JJ is neither a boy nor a girl. Ever since JJ was very little, they never felt exactly like a boy or girl. They just felt like themselves. This is JJ's gender identity. Some girls, some kids feel like girls. Some kids feel like boys. Some kids feel like a little bit of both. Part boy, part girl. M reminds me of that old commercial. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Is that okay? Some kids don't feel exactly like a boy or a girl. They feel like neither. Some kids feel that their gender identity isn't always the same. It's often changing. So now are we endorsing schizophrenia? What are we doing? Whether you feel like a boy or, or a girl or neither, if you describe yourself another way, that is your gender identity. When does this foolishness stop? When you shroud lunacy, insanity, or fallacy in colorful words and pictures to be read to young children, you have created unsafe um, and unsafe environment, since we're talking about safe environment, right? Where does it stop? At this tender age, our children one, two, threes. Who authorized this? Who told you that you are God? Who gave you permission to tell our children who they are and who they're supposed to be? This is intentional and evil at its core. Get back to what you were elected to do and formally educate our children, not indoctrinate them with left-wing ideologies under the guise of providing a safe and welcoming space. Hear us clearly. We will not surrender our children. Leave our children alone. <laughs>